The headlines in Michigan were potent. First-term Democratic Senator Gary Peters was narrowly beating, or even tied, with his Republican challenger, John James. Two polls said so. Yeah, but no. These two polls were sponsored by two of the biggest lobbyists in Michigan, and they have giant red flags. One, about how they were conducted, and two, about how little information was released about them to the public. The problem started with the first poll, conducted by a Republican-leaning consulting firm named the Marketing Resource Group. It gave Peters a slim three-point lead over James. Things then got worse when a Democratic-leaning consulting company, Vanguard Public Affairs, gave a local political reporter the results of a survey it commissioned claiming Peters was ahead 39.5% to 39.3%. And let's just stop right there. If you ever see a poll with decimal points, move along. No poll can be that accurate. But that's not really the main issue here. What's wrong with journalists reporting these polls? Well, first, it's who's sponsoring them. When partisan consultants are paying to poll a full year ahead of an election, you gotta ask, why? What's their motivation? And then there's the surveys themselves. Let's start with the MRG poll. There is a statement on the website describing the methodology. It's not all bad, but likely voters for a contest that's over a year away? And while drawing a random sample from a list of registered voters is common, what history of voting are they using? 2018, 2016, 2014? And how did they make sure their survey looked like the average Michigan voter, other than that vague effort was made to reach African Americans? But the Vanguard poll is worse. There's no link to it anywhere. So there's no way to know anything, anything about it. Still, it was uncritically reported by a local TV news station, national political outlets, and Michigan's largest daily newspaper, the Detroit Free Press. Incredibly, the Free Press didn't even bother linking to the MRG poll, which at least exists on the sponsor's site. All of which makes it critical for journalists and everybody else to carefully consider who's sponsoring the poll you're looking at and how transparent they are with the details about how the poll was conducted. Caveat emptor, buyer beware. Thank you.